This is a short video on how to install a DZ4LW computer. First of all, get the instructions, read through them. It'll answer most of your questions. Um, now here's a short overview of the setup. There's a bike computer. There's a handle worm mount. Uh, there's a wire that goes down the brake cable, wraps around it, down to the fork, and then to the speed sensor right here and there is a magnet that clips onto the spoke. So first of all get the wiring harness and a couple zip ties and note the orientation. Uh, there's a little tab that rear faces the rear of the bicycle and the zip ties go on the other side. Feed them in. That's one. There's the other one and look at the orientation here carefully. Uh, now place the handlebar mount on the left or right side of the handlebars, it doesn't matter, we're going to put them on the left. Then install the uh, zip ties, there's one, there's the other, tighten them up and adjust the handlebar mount so it's about flat for now and there you go. The next thing to do is to get the wire and sensor and start wrapping it around the front brake cable like we're doing uh, and you want to keep on wrapping it until you get down to the fork so it just takes a little while but uh, uh, keep on wrapping and wrapping more and we're almost there now we're just checking to see how the length of the the wire is uh, and, and trying to see where uh, the sensor lands on the fork uh, and we'll show you this in a second as we keep on wrapping a little bit more um, so here you go uh, there's the sensor and it could go anywhere along this surface of the fork and we're going to put it right about here now this is the uh, sensor, speed sensor, and there's a little circle arrow on the sensor and the magnet is going to pass by that circle arrow right there. Um, so get a couple zip ties, feed them into the speed sensor like this, that's one, that's the other, and uh, install it on the front surface of the front right fork. And here we go, zip them up, uh, tighten them up, uh, tighten up the zip ties just a bit and position the transmitter right about here. The next thing we want to do is make sure the handlebars can rotate to the right and left fully without the wiring harness getting caught up on anything. So do that and, and take a look. If not, you have to adjust the wiring harness a little bit more. Now get the spoke magnet out and there's uh, two sides, a divot side and a flat side. The flat side is for flat spokes and the divot side is for round spokes. And to uh, tighten up the magnet, just turn the body of the magnet as such and that'll uh, tighten it down. Now pick a spoke uh, close to the sensor and install the magnet on the spoke and tighten it down just a bit but not too tight and then uh, adjust it. And here's a closer view. Uh, we're moving things around a little bit just to get the circle arrow and magnet aligned properly and that looks pretty good there. Um, also make sure the gap between the magnet and the sensor is about three millimeters and once all is all done next uh, get a pair of pliers and tighten up the zip ties on the speed sensor that's the second one uh, you want to make sure this is really secure so the sensor doesn't move around at all at all and then get some clippers and clip off the ends of the zip tie. There's one, there's the other one. And it's always good to go back and 
confirm the alignment of the magnet and sensor, just in case you move something when you were uh, clipping the, the zip ties. And make sure the magnet is nice and tightly uh, secured. The next thing you want to do is take a look at the computer, spin the front wheel, and make sure you get a speed ring. If not, you have to go back and adjust the alignment of the speed sensor and magnet. Uh, sure enough, uh, we do get a speed reading, so our alignment is good, and we're almost done. Now for a little cleanup, go back to the zip ties holding the wires harness onto the fork, tighten them down, clip them off, tuck in the wire, make sure it's nice and neat, and we like to put the zip tie heads around the back. Uh, that looks pretty good. Also go up to the computer mount, get the pliers again, pull the zip ties nice and tight so the mount is secure on the handlebars. There you go. That looks good. Now you want to get the clippers, clip off the ends of the zip ties, and you're all done. And that concludes the video on how to install the bike computer.